I don't know it good yet. They don't know nothing about it. I called it. the musician director in my office and I tried to sing it, but I don't know if I did the right key or whatever. So I don't know what gonna happen. Glory to God. But I heard one of our but I heard one of our preachers in Atlanta say you gotta change up things. Don't let the devil come on, somebody know exactly. This song will I did. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, let my people go. Listen, you don't know what's before you. Never been like this. You don't know what's before you. Let my people go. You want to try it? Come on! Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Conscious and not be ignorant of a lot of advice, you know, with the with the virus and the and, and the pestilence and the plagues, and we get a lot of advice and we're glad for it. And uh, even on our desk there, you'll find a lot of stuff the right there, you know, because we don't we don't fight what's good, you know, but we just tell you to be careful, you know. But take it when you're leaving and. And make sure you follow those guidelines, how to do this, how to wash your hand, how to do this and whatever. But remember, there's something greater than that. Glory to God. As a matter of fact, some of the folks are telling us that if you, you know, you're supposed to use a disinfectant on your hand. And if you have it all over here, you can do it. Am I right? But they're telling us that if you use it too much, your hands will get dry. And then the virus will go into the crack. You know? You know, you know, so, yeah, you know, we, we, we're glad for them. And they said, you know, the, the mass is good, but if you go and buy the mass and make it worse, because who need it won't get it. That's what they say. If you go and buy it, you're going to make it worse if you buy. Yeah, and, and, and if you're not sick, you should not wear it. Because those who are sick ain't going to get it. And they go to somebody go to the hospital, please check me for corner for uh, coronavirus. Say, no, we can't check you because your symptoms not enough. We got to call the CDC to know if we should check you. So he go home and check. So the whole thing. We're glad for what they're trying to do. They're not trying to do all. But there's something bigger about this. Come on, somebody. You gotta understand. Yeah. The Lord begin to deal with me. What what, what I have to tell you now? You better write it down. If, if you depend on only those who can do stuff after it happens, 
you're in trouble. Remember on 9-11, the officials were telling the people to go down, then they tell them to go up. And, and one time I tell them to stay where you are. Remember, I tell you, you know, still listen to them. It's okay. I don't want, they say, oh, we're trying to turn you off the authorities. Hmm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This thing you want to make it as tidy as possible, but you just can't. Glory to God. Glory to God. You see, what's happening right now is God's response to the welfare of his people of his people you see the system is gradually gathering themselves against the church against believers holy ghost help me i was pra i was practicing on the security officials while they were coming and you know I'm, I'm just not getting it like i was telling them you see the bible says that when noah prophesied of the flood he prophesied that they should gather before the flood somebody said gather the people and then when it came to Sodom and Gomorrah Abraham told his family and others to gather before the fire somebody said gather before the flood Somebody said, gather before the fire. But when Noah prophesied of the flood, there were nobody really persecuting the believers. Their only problem is that they mocked the building of the ark. When it came to Sodom, it was worse because they were abusing the men. And they were trying to abuse even angels. Are you there? But then it came to Egypt. Egypt and Pharaoh. And just to tell you so I don't miss it. Pharaoh is a form of the beast. Pharaoh is a type of the beast. Ooh. When it came to Pharaoh, so each time, the first time with the flood, there was nobody really against the believers. The second time, it was bad. But in Egypt, they were persecuting Israel. That they had to make bricks out of straw. And the Bible said that the people cried out to God. And when Moses went to Pharaoh, Pharaoh would not budge. Then he pretend like he would, and then he did not budge. And God sent 12 plays so that the people can be let go. Somebody say, Pharaoh, <laughs> let my people go. Somebody say, Pharaoh, let my people go. The first time in the flood, it was not that hard the second time it was harder but not that hard the third time the third time God had to send 12 plagues this time it will not be 12 it will be like 1200 because the heart of Pharaoh is not the same as historical Pharaoh the heart of pharaoh is the beast himself holy ghost help me here and all that you see happening right now has to do with the cry of the saints to god hallelujah my god help me help me help me help me, help me lord glory to god we have seen in china and we have spoken over and over that God will not allow China to behave like that. Bulldoze the churches. Remove the crosses. 
remove the Ten Commandments from you see I've got to understand China is the most populous country in the world with nearly 1.5 billion people with a hundred million Christians did you hear what I said did you hear what I said China has more Christians than America come on somebody persecuted killed attacked they are snitched out by their own neighbors your own neighbors can receive one thousand five hundred US dollars less than me to snitch out the real Christians there are two that those who are aligned with the government and those who are real but those who are real are underground and these are the ones who have been persecuted and the public are given one thousand five hundred US point out a true Christian and when they are pointed out they are vilified and persecuted not only that there's a system in China where you are put on a list of what they call some sort of credit system where once you are religious you go on that system and you are hindered from many public amenities your children cannot go to some schools you cannot go on a fast train. You can go on some planes. You cannot get any loan, etc., etc. And there is a major persecution. But understand, it's not just China. It's the whole world. You see, the beast is not just one pharaoh. The beast is global. The beast is not just one system. The beast is a mix of several systems. Now let me get in trouble right now. I think I'm more comfortable getting in trouble. Glory to God. Right now we see on the earth this same here. The number one country in the world is about to have some changes in the political system. And some of you may be tempted to look at the people at the individuals. That's a mistake. You've got to look at the isms. There are four main isms happening right now in this major historical election. One is capitalism. Two is communism that they sometimes call socialism three is same sexism come on somebody four is a word that you probably didn't know is a word illuminism what is illuminism illuminism are is is the guidelines by which the illuminati function now the capitalism communism same sexism and illuminism the most dangerous of them all is illuminism it has a mix of everything and illuminism comes from a group called the illuminati that started in 1776 in germany notice that britain has just separated from the european union are you listening and now because they are separated the leadership is now germany and that's where the illuminati started if we begin to tell you oh you wouldn't like it but it's important to understand not the who's but as to where are they aligned because of all these isms the only one that allow free access of the church is capitalism are they communism cuba russia soviet union Venezuela, China, North Korea, Cambodia have killed hundreds of millions of people. Most of them Christians. Are you there? So what's happening up on the earth right now? The, the election and what's happening with the diseases 
is there is a trek towards the beast the beast is arising the six 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 beast is arising and their main aim is to destroy the christians so what you see happening in china where they have uh, 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 persecuted the christians is happening in russia because russia is coming out of the soviet union which persecuted and killed nearly a hundred million people who were not have you ever heard they say if you go to cuba this is better and that is better maybe medicine is better and more education because they deliberately omit the part that says that they kill millions is those who are left alive no make up the countries are you there so right now the world is trekking towards the beast one world order one world government one world religion one world army one world police force and all of this is anti-christ that's why they are called anti-christ that's why they are called the beast that's why you will notice recently you hear about the ai anybody hear about the ai artificial what intelligence and they are using all kinds of this thing rising up on the earth to replace mankind the main thing as i as i listen to the lord as he ministered to me the, the main thing the Lord said we need to do first of all is to reset our lives we need to reset our lives to handle what's happening what's happening right now with these diseases what's happening right now with these events glory to God I hear God saying we should reset our lives you see the way that God deals with mankind. God begins with mankind with operations. So much the operations. And that's why God revealed worldwide vision day. Are you there? It's an operation. Another group they have what you call global outreach day. Another group you have they call descend. And God releases these operations on the earth to change the course of mankind. To seek to bring back men to God. But as God raised up Worldwide Vision Day, and God raised up Global Outreach Day and others, some respond, but many still don't respond. So God has to bring the events god have to cause the events to happen god have to cause a pestilence to come as a matter of fact if you look in second chronicles chapter 7 and verse 13 you will notice that there are two things happening right now in china which is right there in that verse somebody run to that verse for me second chronicles i believe verse chapter 7 i believe verse 13 somebody shout it out so i can know i'm at the right place Glory to God, glory to God. Somebody say, Pharaoh, let my people go. Somebody say, Pharaoh, let my people go. One more time, Pharaoh, let my people go. Anybody got that verse? Read it with me, read it with me. Come on, let's go. If I shut up heaven. Right now in Pakistan, there's no rain. The locals have in Pakistan and they, they have gotten ready to send a hundred ducks to Pakistan to eat off the locals. Then they said, no, 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 the ducks cannot handle the drought. The, lo the, 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 the ducks cannot handle the parched land. So they had to stop that. Read on, read again, stuff on the top. Verse 13. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain. Or if I co command what? The locusts to devour the land. Or if I send what? Pestilence. So in one verse, we see exactly 
pots in China. So God has the answer. No man have a better answer than the Bible. Amen. You just saw both of them right there in China. In the number one populous country in the world. Basically representing the world. And basically represent what they want to do to the world. Because the beast is a world communism. Read on. Verse 14. Come on, come on. I'm the one preaching. Come on, help me on. Come on now. Come on, come on. Read on now. Read on. If my people, which are called by my name, come on, shall humble themselves and pray and see my face and turn. Come on, somebody. Come on. From the wicked ways, read on. Then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins. And we'll what? And you see, we get so used to it that we want to bypass it. It's like John 3 16. Every church I go to, every, every second sermon they preach this. And we don't realize. So powerful. The very thing happening right now. Come on, locust and virus. Locust and pestilence. It's right there. In verse 13. Then God tell you what to do. In verse 14. Read it. Read it. If my read it. If my, read it straight. If my people come on. We got called by my name. Read all. Come on. Come on. And will heal the land. So the first thing God is calling for us to do is to reset. Everything involves repent, turn, seek, reset to God's standard. It's not just to repent. Reset to the standard of the Bible. No matter how far you have gone, Come on. And some folks think they've gone too far, they can't come out. No, you haven't gone as far as the prodigal son. He went to riotous living. None of you been there. You know riotous living? None of you been there. Come on. So arise and reset. Repent. Fix it. Ask forgiveness. Fix the relationship in your house. Fix the relationship with your colleagues. Fix the relationship with your brother. Come on, somebody. Leave your gift and go say sorry. Come on, somebody. Somebody say reset. Come on. The answer sounds so normal. But it's the answer. It's the answer. Go wash your hand, yes. But it's the answer. Reset. Come on. With what? The Bible. Somebody say reset. Somebody say reset. Somebody say reset. Stand up on your feet, everybody. And let's do something about this. We'll, we'll try to finish as soon as we can. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Just pray about it. Glory to God. Fix it. Reset. Align back with the Bible. Align with the Bible. Glory to God. Come out of the middle. Come on, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Yes, we sit with the scripture. We sit with the word of God. Yes, that the word of God is God himself. We can't trim God. Come on, we can't cut God like they did in Gethsemane. We set church. They, are, they, they plan to destroy us. They plan to get rid of us. They plan to bring us down. They want to make us into AIs. That your mind is gone. When they turn you into a robot, your mind is gone. Come on. They turn you into beast. We 
your beasts have no soul. And when they take us over, they realize that the Christians are the most powerful. That's why they move cross. A cross is not a gun. Come on. A cross is not a bomb. It's not a tank. Come on, somebody. It's just two sticks nailed together. And they move the cross. They are terrified of you. Holy Ghost, help me. They are intimidated by the people of God. Just like Pharaoh was intimidated by the people of God. This day they are intimidated. And I don't know how to help you to understand this. But what's happening on the earth right now is connected to you. To take a minute more and we sit. Pray and say, Lord, Lord, I make my decision right now. I'm going to reset. I will repent. I will forgive. I will apologize. I will ask forgiveness. I will reset my life with your word. For your word shall never return unto you. But heaven and earth will pass away. Before one jot or to pass away, Lord, I reset my life. I reset my home. Come on, somebody. I reset those broken homes. With the word of God. Holy Ghost, help me here. Sit down. Sit down. You have to help me with this thing. This thing. You have to help me with this thing. Glory to God. The second thing for us to do in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this uh, crisis, in the midst of this thing that they all got so fearful. In the midst of this paranoia. In the midst of this confusion. In the midst of this thing where the airports are empty. The bus station is empty. There is confusion everywhere. In the midst of this, you got to know what to do. Because remember I told you, there were 12 plagues. 12 plagues. Action from God is over. When this one is over, come on, somebody. More is coming. So you have to know how to respond. Holy Ghost, come on, somebody. Holy Ghost. The second thing to do is to rebuke the beast. Hey! The second thing to do, child of God, is to rebuke the beast. That's why Moses went to the beast. Glory to God. Moses went to Pharaoh. My God. And said let my people go. It's time for the church to arise. And visit the Chinese government. I'm going to get in trouble here. Visit the Chinese government. And say you can't stop this plague. You can't stop this pestilence. You can't stop corona. For when you solve this corona. There will be another corona. Come on somebody. You can't stop this thing. You are problem is your persecution of God's people and the only way you will be released of this pestilence is to let my people go help me Lord is the worst I ever feel preaching Listen, it don't make sense to try other things. It don't make sense to build new hospital. Come on, somebody. What's coming? You're going to need 10,000 hospital. 
Roko Shaka Bahama. Somebody in helping me. Holy Ghost help me. Yeah. You can't get our own God. You can't get our own God. God used 12 plagues thousands of years ago. And now we get so out of order. Want to put our fist in God. We're going to see what's coming. It will not be 10 plagues. It will be a thousand. Come on somebody. So the answer is not to fix. By building more hospitals. Thank you for that. But you got to change your behavior towards God's anointed. For the Bible says, touch not the Lord anointed. Help me. And do. When the Lord began to speak to me, I said, me God, me going to China. Me. I said, Lord, you know I'm faithful, but you know, Lord. <laughs> and the Lord speak to me. I'm telling you, I said, what's wrong with you? You're not one Moses time now. You're not two Moses time now. Is not with me, somebody? Is not three Moses time now? Is the body of Christ Moses? Come on, somebody here. Hey, that, that, he says in the last days. Come on, somebody. I'll pour out. Uh, yeah, yeah. You better don't shout too much because some of you have to go to China. Come on, somebody. Here. Uh, oh, glory to God. Glory to God. God is saying, I got enough Moses in the body of Christ, and it they will go in to these wicked rulers and point on them and tell them your problem is your behavior towards the Christian unless Ragasha, unless you change your ways unless you let go Ragasha, God's people there'll be pestilence there'll be virus there'll be earthquakes there will be locusts there'll be trouble you can't manage Some of the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh, oh Pharaoh, let my people go. You don't know what's before you. Never been like that. You don't know what's before you. Hey, let my people go. You see, the gathering, the first was before the flood. The second was before the fire of Sodom. The third was before the firstborn of Egypt. The nuts will be the gathering before the flight with Jesus. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry yourself. All that's going on. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. It's close to the call. It's close to the flight. It's close to heaven. Bound. Don't over the brain. Come on. Show. When you see like this, I look like there's no answer. We are not far from flight. Come on, somebody. You don't sound glad. You don't sound glad. You are not far from the flight. So God said, number one, He said, reset. So much a reset. Number two, what? Rebuke the kings. Rebuke the kings that want to incarcerate. Rebuke the kings, the heathen kings that want to rule over us. Rebuke them kings that want to tell us that they got to change your belief. Come on, somebody. Rebuke them. Rebuke them. Because whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Turn and I'm finished for now. I'm not doing very well. Lord of God. Give me number one. Reset. Number two, rebuke. Number three, revolt. Revolt. 
like worldwide vision day and then it has its impact but because someone respond god send events like you know, coronavirus are you there but some will still not god says it's time for the church to revolt it's time for the people of god in china to get up and say if i perish i perish but i'm gonna preach Glory to God. Glory to God. And all the barriers that stand in your way, whoever you are, that you may consider yourself not qualified, God says it's time for the revolution. It's time for those not considered qualified to revolt. It's time for the spiritual revolution upon the earth. It's time for the laborers to be full. For he says in Matthew 9, verse 37 and 38, he said, The harvest is truly plentiful, but the laborers are few. There is a prayer that the Lord of the harvest will send forth laborers. In the past, it was the patriarchs, it was the monarchs. It was the great prophets. It was the bishops. It was the apostles. It was the reverends. Ah, some men thought it's only them. <laughs> what gonna happen when the book come out? Oh my God of mercy here. Hey, all who have been disqualified. This is for you. God said, revolt. Go forth and preach. Go forth and prophesy. It's not time for theology now. It's not time to be arguing right now. Go forth and do the work. Stand up on the video, everybody. Somebody said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Somebody said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Somebody said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Makashata. Reset your life. Rebuke the system. Rebuke the modern Pharaoh. Rebuke the spirit of the beast. Rebuke those who are trying to conquer us right now, even in this year. Rebuke them. Tell them you will not rule over us. My God, my God. And revolt. Do not seek for permission to go forth and preach. Do not wait until you know it all to preach. Revolt. Go on the streets. Go in the highways. Go in the hedges. And win the lost. And God says, when I see the people come, God says, if I can find 50, historically, I will save the people. Hey, if I can find less than 50, I will say them. So what do we do, Lord? We fold. Go for it. The bishops think that they are the only ones that cannot get the job done. Other leaders think they are the only ones that cannot get the job done. If we leave it on them, then God has to bring the judgment. Come on. But when those who are unqualified, arise! and revolt with the gospel god will turn back his hand and that's why god called for the gathering that's why god said gather the people that's why god said call a solemn meeting that's why god said cry before the altar and tell me god to spare my people it's my people it's all about my people don't be scared, church. In Jeremiah 10, verse 2, God said, when these things happen, we can't go like them. We can't be like them. Come on, somebody. It's all about you. It's all about the welfare of the saints. God is responding to the persecution. 
of his people. These evil governments, evil leaders, and evil isms, and evil people, hear what they do? They reject the gospel. They do not only reject the gospel, they persecute God's people. Not only, and they try to kill the prophets. The Lord showed me a revelation that they are, they are going after a preacher in the hills. And in the hills, as they're coming near the preacher, the preacher can hear them coming. And he can hear them saying, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. Because he has empowered the people. Church, this is the moment. Let nobody lock you down. Let nobody corner that you cannot exercise your gifts. Let nobody tie your hands, tie your lips, tie your feet, tie your movement. It's revolution time. Glory to God. It's revolution time. It's gospel preaching revolution time. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Reset. Rebuke. Revolt. Reset. <laughs> Rebuke. <laughs> Revolt is in your hand, church. It's all in your hand. It's all in your hand. Go ahead and do those, not those, you know, things that they tell us about. It's all right. It's all right. Most of it is good. But listen. Tell Pharaoh. Let my people go. Or nothing will change. When Corona is finished, is another one. When pestilence finished, is earthquake. When earthquake finished, is volcano. When volcano finished, is flood. Because man must bow to God at the name of Jesus. Help me here. Help me here. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. One leader in Iran in the middle of telling people lies about what happened. He's demonstrating the very effects. Listen, anybody can have the effects. Don't misunderstand. Oh man, another big part of it. Oh Lord, I can't touch it. Anybody can have it. Come on, but don't worry about it. It's close to home. We are close to home. We are close to the flight. Come on, somebody. Follow all the guidelines and protect yourself. But don't worry. We are close to the end. Come on. Glory to God. Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom. Trumpet will sound. All of the dead shall rise. Rising within the sky. Going where no one dies. Cross the bridge, there'll be no more sorrow. Across the bridge, there'll be no more pain. The sun will shine across the river. Who oh, when the saints, you will help me, go marching in. Who oh, when the saints, go marching in. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Holy Ghost. Oh, who win the sex? He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Glory. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. I'll fly away. Oh, glory. I'll fly away. When my Jesus hit the eastern sky. <laughs> fly away. See the blood. When I. 
see the blood when I see the blood I will bow over you when I see the blood when I may be come on see the blood hallelujah when I see the blood I will pass over you when I see the blood when I come on brother see the blood when I see the blood I will pass over you when I see the blood when I see the blood when I see the blood I will pass over you when I see the blood when I Hallelujah. Oh, my katara, ba, 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 ba. See, see the blood. I will die over you. When I see the blood. When I. Yeah, when I see the blood. I will pass over you when I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. Receive it. Maka ba 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 ba. When I see the blood. Hey, when I see the blood, see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I lift a hand. I will pass over you when I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. Hey! Oh, when I see the blood. When I see the blood, see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood. I will pass over 